Alrighty, what's up guys? Matt here from Loon Outdoors and today we are tying the cryptocurrency caddis. So in the vise I have a size 14 jig hook and a 3.5 mil bead. Adjust the bead size as needed. I'm going to be tying with Vivas 50D thread and I just start out here really quickly by making some quick touching turns uh, down the shank of the hook and uh, the dubbing for this it's going to be a little bit of a blend here and uh, <clears throat> for the tail segment I don't do a ton but uh, it's a little UV ice dub in tan and some STS trilobal in cinnamon caddis and I dig this for just a little bit longer length and the amount you're going to need here is pretty minimal. I'm going to bring a little bit of extra out um, for the body, but what we're going to do is we're going to blend just that ice dub and that STS trilobal together. And we're going to set the part of this aside for the rest of the fly. But uh, so this is like a little trick Mike Mercer is doing right now. Seems to work super well. I'm going to trim all of the butt ends of this fiber nice and even and we're gonna start twisting so you can see we're putting a really good twist into this back end of this here and what I'll do is I'll just kind of fold it over and it just kind of furls back on itself sometimes it needs a little bit of help but once we get that there I'll hold it in place and it just creates a little bit of an extra back section there. I am going to trim this off and redub this. So um, next up we'll take our excess dubbing here and if you have another longer dubbing that you like quite a bit feel free to use that as well. But you can see it's just a super duper buggy looking fly. Looks like I caught a little bit there. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create kind of touching turns here uh, with this dubbing moving forward and then I'll just kind of ramp up into like a thorax area here. We'll get the bead in the right spot. Um, as you can see it's really scraggly, it's really suggestive, there's a lot kind of going on there. So this is really a four material fly. Um, next up, I just take a little bit of ice dub in UV brown, and I'm going to create a small collar, kind of for the, the head of the bug, if you will. So, I mean, realistically, you could probably fish it just like that. Um, this is going to imitate uh, pupating caddis, so I want it to be a little bit more buggy. So I'm going to take a little bit of uh, brown CDC. This is uh, CDC 40 from Hairline. And I'll go ahead and lock that in there. And we're really, whoops, cut the stem a little short there that time. Um, so realistically, we're probably going to do just about one, one wrap with this CDC. Save the rest of it for your next fly. And I'll get in there and trim that up a little bit tighter here in a second. So I really secure this in, make it look as good as possible, and hide the stem inside the slot for the bead. Um, next up, I've been working through this uh, little bronze mallard flank. You could just use normal mallard flank um, if you like. I just like the brown color that the bronze mallard uh, gives you. You can also just get standard stuff dyed. So these are going to turn into our antennas here. And I just want those kind of just sitting off. A lot of people ask, man, this is going to turn upside down in the water. I, I don't really care. Um, it has all the components and pieces behind it. So it works for me. And again, I'm just going to take a really small pinch of that ice dub in UV brown 
just to create the head of the fly. Now if you're tying this in olives or uh, you know any of the greens, stuff like that, uh, then I do switch the head color and the bead color to a black bead and uh, I switch the ice dub to ice dub peacock black. Seems to work out pretty well. But at the end of all this you're just left with this incredibly suggestive juicy uh, little jig fly that catches a lot of fish. It's super shaggy so I think it hangs up in their mouth a little bit better. Um, it's not quite your standard Euro competition pattern if you will um, but it's definitely a fish catcher. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.